YouTube. What is going on, y'all? It's your boy Young Texas, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. As I discussed in yesterday's video, season three of Modern Warfare 2 begins next week on Wednesday, April 12th. With the start of the new season comes plenty of new and exciting content that I discussed in yesterday's video in which I went through the entirety of the Season 3 roadmap. Something that I touched on only briefly in yesterday's video because it wasn't actually showcased in the roadmap was all of the new and exciting changes coming to Modern Warfare 2 Ranked Play with the onset of Season 3. Now as I discussed in a video when Ranked Play was first released, there was no placement matches, meaning that every single player who was hopping into Ranked Play for the first time was going to start off in bronze and had to work their way up through the skill divisions. Now, how you're going to start Season 3 is depending on how you ended Season 2. The skill division that you ended Season 2 with, you're going to be dropped down one skill division to start off Season 3. Now, throughout the entirety of Season 2 with Modern Warfare 2 Ranked Play, players could earn exclusive in-game rewards dependent on their skill division and the amount of matches that they won. Now, this is a system that is going to be returning with Season 3, so again, there's going to be those exclusive rewards that I'm going to touch on later in this video. What is important to remember is is that the rewards that are determined by your skill division are not going to be based off of the skill division that you end the season in. So if you end the season in bronze, for example, but you worked all the way up to iridescent and somehow dropped all the way back down to bronze, you're going to be getting all of the rewards that come with being an iridescent ranked player because it's going to give you rewards based off of the highest rank you achieved within that season. Now, if you're wondering where your rewards are for reaching a certain skill division in season two with Modern Warfare 2 ranked play, don't fret. Nobody has gotten them yet because those rewards are going to be given to you at the end of season two, which again is next week on April 12th. That being said, we do not know exactly what these skill division rewards are going to to be for season three of modern warfare 2 ranked play however what we can expect is that they're going to come in the forms of things like weapon skins operator skins and more cosmetic items however that being said in a picture released on the call of duty blog where they discuss the season three roadmap what we can see is weapon charms that are colored similarly to how the skill divisions are colored in modern warfare 2 ranked play so it can be assumed that as you work up through the skill divisions you're going to get different weapon charms be it if you're in silver iridescent, crimson, whatever the case may be. Additionally, it has been noted that players in the top 250, they're on that 250 player leaderboard, they're going to be getting some more exclusive rewards, which 100% makes sense. And for that player that is ranked number one in the entire world, they're going to get their own set of exclusive rewards that come with being the top ranked player. However, the rewards that we actually do know about and we know exactly what those rewards are, those are going to be the rewards that you're going to earn for winning matches in Season 3 of Modern Warfare 2 ranked play. As you win more and more matches, you're going to earn more and more rewards all the way up to your 100th win in Modern Warfare 2 ranked play season 3. Firstly, by winning 5 matches in ranked play season 3, you're going to be getting that ranked play competitor weapon sticker. At 10 wins, you're going to earn the pro issue TAC 56 weapon blueprint, followed by the top dog weapon charm at 25 wins. Now, if you reach 50 wins, you're going to be getting the typical weapon vinyl, and then following up with that at 75 five wins you're going to be getting the season three ranked play loading screen finally should you get all the way up to 100 wins in ranked play season three you are going to be getting the ranked play veteran weapon skin it would also be a safe bet to say that all of the rewards that you earn based off of your skill division in ranked play season three you're not going to be getting those until the onset of season four similarly to how you're not getting the season two rewards until the onset of season three and so on and so forth all of that being said, Season 2 does not come to a close for another 5 days, meaning that you have those 5 days to go ahead and earn the exclusive rewards that you will no longer be able to achieve after the end of Season 2. Whether you want to get up into the next skill division so that you don't drop as low in the next season, maybe you want to earn those rewards, maybe you want to get those wins, whatever the case may be, you do have a few more days to do that before Season 2 caps off and we start off Season 3. With all that being said, Season 3 is just around the corner and with all of the new and exciting content that is on the way all of the changes that are coming down the pipeline the world of call of duty is sure to change as we know it but yeah guys this is effectively going to wrap up today's video i hope you all enjoyed if you did be sure to drop a like and comment on it down below subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to turn on those notifications so you never miss any of my daily uploads for even more from me be sure to check out the links in the description below to connect with me on all of my social media so you never miss any of my content also for the latest and greatest call of duty news intel and so much more be sure to use the links in the description below to connect with IPC on all of our social medias as well as our website. But other than that, I hope you'll have a great rest of your day, and that's been it. Peace.